forced the city council to return the money, send back the letter. And this wasn't us. This wasn't Panda. This was we empowered people to take back their city, and they took it back. About a month ago, anti-Second Amendment resolution was inter ordinance was introduced, allowing only councilmen to carry in the chambers. Now, I, I don't know what idiot tried for that, but only councilmen could carry in the council chambers. That is not does not have a chance because the people of Emmett, Idaho, now own their county, and whatever the city council does, they call up Jason or they call up somebody in the area before they make the decision because they know if they make the wrong decision, they go against the people, they are done. I did all the local uh, all right, so to recap, the paradigm shifts that I and we'll do some Q&A as well. The paradigm shifts that I ask you to understand are this, number one, self-direction is important and it is crucial. If you have or you are in a centralized organization, if you want to win, they need to decentralize. They need to completely get rid of bureaucracy, chapters, teams, and reform that on themselves as an advisor, empowering people to take back their own towns, to take back their own cities. <laughs> Number two, human, or creating a coalition and going against the government is the way to do it. I had, I had a, a lady in Michigan, I was speaking in Michigan, and I had a lady in, at a local campaign for liberty, I asked about 15 people there, and I said, so what's the first thing you do when you want to take back your county? And she raised her hand, she said, you contact your county commissioner. I said, absolutely not. They are like the DMV. Like, you have to go get your paperwork. But, you don't go there until you have to. And that's the same thing with politicians. Never try to convince, unless you want practice. If you want practice, go have fun. Please, have fun. Practice is wonderful. If you want to get results, never try to convince a politician on your issue. Ever. When you try to convince them on your issue, you are speaking Chinese. When we, in Albany, New York, you ask any of the city councilors who voted for that resolution what the NDAA is, they'll look at you cross-eyed. What? Because they didn't need to know. They listened to one thing and one thing only. You want to play on their game board, try to convince them about the issue. You want to play on your game board? Then what you do is you reproach them in a language they understand. That language is pressure. And that's the only language they understand is how many people are coming to me. That's why the post-it note is so important. How many groups are backing you? How many people are coming to me? And here's, anybody want to guess how much of the population you need to pressure a politician enough, on average, to do what you want to do? Very close, yes, you're good. You need one to three percent of the registered voters. As a guess as a number, take your population of your county, slice it in half of the registered voters, take one to three percent of that. That's all you need represented to own every political decision that goes on in your city or in your county. But if you want results, never try to convince a politician on your issue. Show up, show up in force, show up in more force next time, show up in more force next time, because what's going through the head is they're sitting here and they're going, all right, so there's 10 people in the audience this week. I've never heard about this issue before in my life. There's 10 people in the audience. Okay, I guess, and eh, maybe I should be concerned. Two weeks later. Wow, there's 30 people in the audience. That issue just tripled in awareness in uh, two weeks. Wow, this is gonna be important. Next week, there's 60 people in the audience. Oh, uh, I might be losing my job if I don't get behind these people sometime soon. Usually it takes about three to, three, three to four weeks, uh, or three, three to four meetings to get that done. So, number one, decentralize. Number two, do not play their game board. Do not try to convince a politician on anything. Show up in force, hit them hard, with the coalition that you build. Looks like there's a taste testing competition for some breakfast items happening over here. Uh, I spied Dave Ridley at the beginning of this video. Today is Wednesday, and it's June 25th, 2014. Hey Neil, oh hey. look, you're open carrying. I am, indeed. What you got there? It's a uh, Beretta PX4 uh, Storm, 9mm. Cool.
and I'm seeing a lot of other people open carrying. Indeed, and I'm really looking forward to Buzz's Big Gay Dance Party. Oh, cool. When's that happening? Uh, that's going to be Friday night. Cool. What's yeah. going on tonight? Is there anything? Um, I'm the goth party tonight? I'm not sure. I kind of play it by ear each time. I thought the goth party was tonight. I'm looking forward to that. And the uns party. That was the best. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> I remember back 2007, you made a very similar video of me open here. It was a different weapon then. Dude, this one says pork fest even more than the last one because of the fact that it's the combination of the gun and the pastel. <laughs> and of course, the uh, Buzz's Big Gay Dance Party were. Yeah, but I can't see that. I was spying you like a rare animal yesterday, Dave. I saw you walking past and. Uh, you were moving so quickly, I had to reach out and get my camera. It was sort of a time test to see how quickly I could do it. And uh, I got you just walking away, unfortunately. I'm glad I, I caught you today. Mm 